Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and in this particular video I want to talk about how you set up an auto of functionality in the Tuya Smart app. I have a separate video where I covered the overall uh, functionality and the review of the Tuya Smart app. If you want to see that I'm going to leave a link in the cards and also in the video description. So what I'm going to focus on now is this auto on or well in most cases the auto of functionality. So the feature I want to get to is, for example, if I turn on this desk lamp, which, um, well, I just do it from the app, but I can also do it from the, from the actual push button as well. Uh, let's say this is a light uh, for a pantry or, I don't know, some sort of storage room where sometimes I leave the light on, so I want this light to automatically turn off after five minutes. So I'm just going to leave this lamp on, and then by the time I finish the... Uh, the whole setup, hopefully the five minutes is going to elapse and it's going to turn itself off. If you have seen the video on this particular device, then you know that uh, on this screen I have a, a button here which says time left. So I can manually set up a timer uh, and the end of that timer the, the light is going to turn off. Well, it's just going to flip its state. But you have to start this manually every time you turn on the uh, the device so it's it's you know it's far it, it's okay for a one-off use where you know that um, you're probably going to fall asleep in half an hour so you want to turn off your light but then let's discuss the other scenario where you always want this to happen and the way to do it is you you go into the smart options and then here we want to do a smart automation because we have um, uh, we want to this automation to trigger when you know as something changes in one of the devices which is in fact that my desk lamp is turned on and I've already created this one but uh, this is the uh, the first time you are creating automations you just click on the plus button on the top top right and then you specify the name so let's say auto off desk lamp desk lamp sorry lamp yeah and you can yeah, pick an image if you really want to, that's fine. So the condition is, so we want this automation to run if I have turned on the device that I want to automatically turn off. So in the select condition, I select the device, I say desk lamp. Uh, well, this only have one function, which is the switch function. And then when it's on, so when this desk lamp switch is on, I want to do something. And in the action, I specify what I want to do. So I want to turn it off, but I only want to turn it off after five minutes. So first I select a time lapse, which is basically a delay. So here I specify whatever time I want. So let's say 10 minutes. And then once that 10 minutes lapses or elapses, then I want to um, action a device, which is going to my desk lamp so that it will turn off. And next. And you can also says, okay, so I just got distracted by the lamp turning off because I have already as, uh, configured this automation. But let's just finish the, uh, the setup of the automation. So in the effective period, you can specify even a period where this automation is going to be on or when this automation should be working. Uh, quite honestly, uh, this is probably something that you want to, to run all the time. I mean, you can specify something here, but I think in this scenario, it wouldn't make sense that you want your light to automatically turn off during the daytime, but in the nighttime, it should always start, stay on as long as you don't switch it off. Well, maybe it will make sense, but anyway, you can use the effective period here. And that's all there is to it. And then you save. And you can, uh, so I don't want to save that because I've already done it. So this desk lamp auto off is the automation that I've created. As you can see, I have done exactly the same thing. I only specified three minutes. So the three minutes have passed and the lamp automatically turned off. Of course, you can also set up an automation. What should happen if the lamp switch is off? But again, if in this particular scenario, I don't think it would make a lot of sense that you turn something off and then it should automatically turn back on after uh, a certain period of time and of course in the action you can specify you know multiple actions so you can add another time lapse and then you can another uh, some device on and off feature uh, again I don't think it would make a lot of sense in this particular case but let's say you have a requirement where you have two lights and you want both of them to be turned off when you know after five minutes 
one of them turns on. So you can have, if it's in the action, you can set another device. And then let's say I'm just picking one, some random. So if I turn on my desk lamp after three minutes, it turns off and it also turns off something. Else. Again, not a great example in this case. I just wanted to just demonstrate that uh, the fact that within the actions, you can specify multiple devices and of course, time lapse. And then you can go some re re very weird scenarios that, you know, wait for five minutes, turn off this, wait for 10 minutes, turn off something else or turn on something else. But that's all it takes to set up a very simple auto off function. And now we have done it for one particular device. So if you have multiple of these devices, you have a couple of lights around the house where you usually um, uh, leave them on. So for example, I have such lights in the pantry or in the stairwell as well, where you know they can always turn off after like you know five or ten minutes. Then you have to create one automation each for each of these devices. Of course, they, you will set them up in the same way. You just uh, set up a condition when, when that particular device turns on and then in the action you select the same device and then turn it off. And that's it. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.